Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be trying to evaluate piecewise multiple integrals. In other words, what is a, what the heck is a piecewise? Remember, recall that piecewise is simply a function which is split into some conditions. In other words, a function x y could equal x y if x and y are both bigger than zero, or could equal this if it's not bigger if if it's otherwise. In other words, otherwise would be anything that isn't this, which is less than zero for both. Let's look back at the integral. Our integral is from minus 1 to 1 for both. So for the first term, how can we write all of this and replace the function using these two? Well, this is how we do it. So check it out. So suppose we deal with the condition that it is positive, it's greater than 0. So both of them need to be bigger than 0, but the max value is 1, so it'll be from 0 to 1. And then hence we can replace the function of xy here. dx dy. Now that's not all. Now we need to obey the second command, and the second command is otherwise. Otherwise implies that x is less than zero, and y is less than zero too. So this means that we're going from minus one to zero, and minus one for y, therefore x to zero too. So that's right here. So we've got minus one to zero, minus one to zero of one minus x minus y, dx, dy. And that's it guys, so now we just have to evaluate both these integrals and for well, all four of these integrals and we got the solution. Okay, so let's let's have a go at this right now, okay? Let me just rub this out and put this at the top line. Or actually let me do this one at a time. I'm gonna call this equation A and this equation B. So we're gonna evaluate evaluate A plus B. Let's begin it. Okay guys, so I'll rub everything out and just put the integral to the top okay just say space so how do we do this so firstly we're going to integrate with respect to x okay so let's put one zero one here the integral here so the inside part if we integrate with respect to x this would be raised to the power of two and you divide by two and then this is just a constant okay so what we'd have is x squared y over two with the limits from x equals zero and x equals one dy and then Replacing the values of x with 1 and 0, we'll be left with da, da, da. this will be 1 times y, so it'll be y over 2 minus 0. So we're going to have y over 2 dy. And once again, integrate this one, which is quite easy. We're going to have y squared over 2 times 2, 4. Again, from 0 to 1. And replacing the value, we're going to get a quarter. Okay, good. So this is the this is a solution for A. Now let's work out B. So I'm going to rub this out. Okay, guys, so it's all gone. And I left A equals a quarter in the top right corner, just for reference. Now let's in, let's try and integrate equation B. Okay, so once again, integrate this part with respect to x and leaving the, the y integral outside. We should get, so we should get x minus integrate x squared. x is x squared over 2. And integrate the constant y in this case because it's a integrating x. We're gonna get x y. We take the limits from x equals minus one to x equals zero, and pop in a dy. Now, what do we get when we substitute the values in? Well, put in zero. This disappears. Firstly, zero 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 is all zero, so it'll be zero. Now, pop in minus one. You're gonna get minus one here minus minus one squared which is half minus times this would be plus y and then dy tidying up this equation we should get so what do we have minus one minus half is minus three over two plus y and invert it we're gonna get three over two minus y check this is if this is right with you guys yeah but i'm pretty sure it's okay and lastly, integrating this, we're going to get 3 over 2y minus y squared over 2 from limits y equals minus 1 to 0. And hence, once again, pop it in the values, and I'm just going to do it quickly. You're going to get 4. Good. Yeah, spoiler, I actually cheated there. And hence, the final solution, A plus B, is 17 over 4. Thanks, guys.